Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so today we're making the Snow White laundry bar. This Snow White really helps me in removing any dirty stains off my clothes. So you know the drill, tap off the air bubbles. <laughs> I'm sure you'll memorize all this by now. Okay, so I'm soaping at a lower temperature than usual, especially the lye, just because this soap gets pretty hot real quick. So I do not want to speed up my trace. With this Snow White formula, I can reach trays pretty fast. So what I did was a quick burst from the stick blender and then stir in manually until everything is well mixed up. And here you can see there's some oil floating and you might want to stop once you can no longer see any more oil floating on the surface and this is where we have reached emulsification all right today's fragrance is called pina colada this is from soap lab malaysia and you might see that i just put a little bit but it follows the soap calculation formula it smells absolutely delicious because of the coconutty scent um, although it's called pina colada but i did not get the pineapple scent. I started formulating Snow White because a good friend of mine just asked me if I have a soap to remove stains of scarves, hijabi scarves. And so I just get on right away to my notebook and start formulating Snow White. Snow White became a hit amongst my customers because it definitely can remove any stains you name it makeup oil or food everything will be gone normally for snow white i will use a square mold but to spice things up in this video i'm using this hexagon um, honeycomb mold and it fills all the way up to 50 grams I was actually looking for the perfect size of hexagon mold for months and it's pretty amazing how the internet works. I just posted um, my search through FB and surprisingly I have a friend that can make any mold using 3D printer. So this is actually the original plate after 3D printing. And then he just pour in the silicone mixture and voila, <laughs> there you go. A hexagon mold that can fill more than 50 grams. Okay, so don't be alarmed um, of the black stain on the mold. That is just a burn mark, um, not some dirty stain. Normally, I would put the silicone molds on top of a tray. After pouring the soap into the mold, I will tap the tray so that I can remove any air bubbles. But today, I forgot. <laughs> Alright, because this um, soap making video is actually a very simple one. So, I ended up including how I clean up my tools after making soap. So, there you go, taking a um, kitchen roll or you can just use toilet paper. And just wipe off any leftover soap mixture until it looks kind of clean. Soaping is more or less the same as baking. So you're dealing with oily mixture. And you know, if you don't use the right technique of cleaning, you might end up with oil stains all over. So yes, that's why I'm wiping all the excess soap mixture first before using water to clean up.
the best remedy in removing oil is by using hot water. So before washing up, I usually fill up the pitcher um, halfway through with hot water and then run my stick blend a few times just to get rid of any excess. And when you can see that everything is pretty clean down the shaft area, so it's good to go. You can start washing up. I've mentioned that Snow White mixture um, heats up pretty fast and so I do not need to wait too long to unmold. It literally took me three hours after um, I made them and then I can just unmold them. Once I can see that the sides are no longer sticking up with the mold, I knew that I can take out my soap right away. Normally, I can take out the soap pretty smoothly, but I don't know why. Maybe I'm just nervous because there's camera and uh, it took me a while. Oh, there you go. One popped out and there's the end soap of Snow White. So, is it just me or does anybody else feel very oddly satisfied um, by watching someone else unmolding a soap? Hands up! If you plan to make a hard soap such as this one, I'm suggesting you not to use a loaf mold. Um, just use cute size mold like this one. Because a loaf mold, you would need to cut the soap into smaller bar size. And if you're not careful with your timing, the soaps get really hard and you can't cut it anymore. Normally, a moisturizing soft bar of soap would need um, a day or two um, for it to harden up before you cut them. But this one, it was really fast, three hours and I was good to go. Because it's 3D printing mold, um, it has ridges, lines all over the mold. And so does my end soap product. But I love it. It kind of gives a very rustic look. I don't know how to explain it more, but it looks very nice. And it feels nice too. Um, it, it's a good texture, I would say. So there you have it, guys. This is how we made our marvelous Snow White. Um, unfortunately, there's no dwarfs here. <laughs> okay, lame joke. Right. Um, where was I? Okay, so this is Snow White and it can remove any stain. Trust me. If you don't believe me, buy one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. Follow our Instagram and Facebook page and we'll see you again next time. Bye!